Greetings, once again, welcome to another exciting Storm Talk. I'm Dr. Steve Yano, Assistant Professor of Rhetoric, Communication, and Theater here at the lovely Queens Campus of St. John's University in New York City. Here we are once again in the center I direct, the High Performance Debate Research Facility, where we study, argument, debate, rhetoric in its rawest and most dangerous form. I'm not wearing my protective gear because I'm an expert. If you study these things at home, I highly recommend you wear protective gear when doing this research. I'm not kidding. Last time, we talked about these four words and what they mean to you. You probably have a sense of what these words mean and which one was the best. And I promise I would tell you which one I thought was the best. And, uh, but I uh, kind of wide. I'm not really going to do that. I'm going to give you maybe more information about how you can determine which one is best. I don't know if there really is the best of these words. It's almost situational. But in 1980, a scholar who studied this kind of stuff, maybe not in a facility as nice as the High Performance Debate Research Facility, Joseph Wenzel wrote an essay where he attempted to deal with this. And in his essay, he uh, it was called Perspectives on Argument. And in this essay, he said that there are three different ways that one can think about argument. You can think of argument as a process. You can think of argument as a product. Or you can think of argument as a procedure. This is the traditional way that scholars have talked about argument. What he did was he lined up each of these concepts with some of these words over here. So argument almost becomes inclusive of some of these other terms, which is interesting to think of this as the term that would control the meaning and the application of the other three terms. How does he do that? Well, he said argument's a process. It helps us manage disagreement and manage times when we do not see the world in the same way. And he lined that up with the traditional study of rhetoric. Product, a product. Argument is something you can make. When a professor assigns you an essay and says, I want your opinion on this reading or this opinion on this book, that professor, she's asking you to create a product. Argument is a product, an essay to turn in. This is what Winslow identified as the traditional province of logic. But we could probably maybe line that up with debate. Because if you came to debate meeting and you saw what we did here and you saw what we practice here, you might think debate is something that we make together and then we comment on it. So we have a debate and then everyone comments on it as if it was something we made together, like a co-constructed text. Uh, maybe something like social authorship you're interested in that in English literature. A procedure. This, Wenzel, uh, well, let's put logic over here because that's kind of what he's really talking about, just so you don't get confused. Procedure is a formal way of doing argument that we use to manage society. So courts of law, parliaments, Congress, things of this nature are what he meant by procedure. And maybe what we could, we could connect that to is dialogue. But there's a special word for a kind of formal dialogue that you might have noticed in your philosophy classes. We all have to take philosophy classes. You've probably read some Plato. And that, in that, he uses this form, or Socrates uses this form, of dialogue called dialectic. Which is a special kind of argument in the mind of Joseph Wenzel. So, do you agree with Wenzel? Do you think that argument is the master term under which all three of these other terms can be subjugated? Let me know what you think. Maybe you don't think this. Maybe you think rhetoric is the term that all three can. Or maybe debate. All these things happen in a debate. Which one is it? Is Wenzel correct? Do you like this? Or is there an alternative way of explaining it? I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Goodbye from all of us here at the High Performance Debate Research Facility.